Hello there, everyone. Welcome back. I am Bogmon. We are, um, a lot of plans. At any moment, at any moment, we may destroy either the Allies or the common turn. I'm not sure which. It's still up in the air. Mm -hmm. If it's the uh, common turn, we will definitely strike swift and mercilessly. If it's the allies, well, we have uh, we have some places we may want to go after and cripple them at. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Denmark is falling. Mm -hmm. It'll, it'll be tough for Germany to get overseas. They always seem to have difficulty taking... Yeah, look, they've got 24... Th their ships have been utterly destroyed. Well, let's upgrade... You. Um... Because you never know, right? If there is going to be a fight, um, it's definitely going to be Russia that has the stronger push. I'm going to build a wall of little forts just to give me some uh, defense. Ah, carrier primacy! And dive bombing. Wonderful. Still 1939. Ah, hello. A better gun. A much better gun. Personnel and crew serve for infantry as well as the various other bits of kit soldier needs. Modernized to include a great number of submachine guns and anti tank rifles. I will take that, thank you. Ooh, motorized rocket artillery. Multiple rocket launchers such as these deliver explosive target area more quickly and conventionally than artillery, or accuracy and requiring a longer time to reload. It unlocks motorized rocket artillery. Some soft attacks and break through a little more defense. I'm gonna take it anyways, just so I have it. We are also, of course, picking a fight with um, yeah, Tibet, which might happen, which won't happen first, but they're on our list. Mm -hmm. I was laying for those guys. I've got I have political power to spare, let's be honest. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's look at my divisions a little bit. So I do want to edit some of these guys. Mm, like, yeah, this is this is unnecessary. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna save that. I'm just gonna trim that out. I didn't need that many. But then when we get rocket artillery, I'll probably add that to kind of give them a little more punch. 
Uh, let's look at my tanks. Precious I am! Alright. Okay. Massing troops in into China, close to the Siamese border. We have made it clear to use their land as a base for freeing Southeast Asia from European colonialism. It's sincere. By allowing them the option of joining us in a military alliance, making them a puppet state of Japanese, we can avoid a meaninglessly one sided war. Of course, if they reject it, it will be tantamount to a declaration of war. We will enter Jap Siam regardless of what they say. Uh, Freya Fahon has wisely decided to accept our ultimatum and forge a military alliance between our nations. Siam is a base for future operations in the Pacific. Sam is now our puppet! Glorious. And add some of that. Boink. All right, so Sam joined us. We're not at war, so we can't do that. Hmm. Reinforce the Soviet border. You know what? Let's reinforce the Soviet border. Let's see how that plays out. Meanwhile... Meanwhile... I don't need that one. And I can have that. And that. And I don't need that. Right, so, I gotta make sure these guys all have proper jobs. You guys all go there. There we are. <laughs> and of course, a new offensive line with uh, Singapore. And you guys, I guess I need to create a new offensive line, don't I? Yes, I do. Done! Oh, you need to. You need better infrastructure, buddy. Can I build infrastructure in your lands? I could. And I will. Mm, da da da. No units assigned. Really? Really? I thought. Weren't there some guys? No? Alright, well, I'm gonna take all of you guys. Like so. Six students. Perfect. Glorious. Let's see, what do I get every month? 5k a month? Not, not a lot, but yeah, it's something. It is really only six divisions. There's got to be more guys. Uh, here we are. Twenty-six divisions. That's more respectable. So I see some forces if of the Soviets, not a huge number. Of course, the Soviets haven't had ha have had very little time to have to worry about picking fights. Second Vienna Orb. So what chain is this they're going down? The alliance with Italy. Okay. And they still haven't made their choice of trying to team up or fight the Russians. And... Oh. Meanwhile, they may not be claims in the Baltic. Baltic security. Claims on Poland. Mm. But that's still like a year, possibly. And I think an entire year is far too much time. When I could be picking a fight with the ally. Well, 
I guess I've got Tibet first and a few of these other guys, but... It would not prove too difficult. Um, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna make a new little little group and I'm gonna take taking you you specifically. Where else are my little seamans? Actually, I have a better way to do this. Mm -hmm. There we are. Or, uh, hold on. Uh, what do I want? What's the button I want? No, no, no. Um, erm. Um. Oh, there's gotta be a button I'm missing for this. Oh, to unselect all. Denmark capitulated. Well, I guess it was to be expected. Alright, we'll do this manually. One, two. Alright, the five of you will be joining a naval order from here to strike... Um, yeah, right there. No, 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 no. Uh, delete that. Naval plan. From there to strike here. Yes. There we are. Five guys, perfect. Everything is perfect. It's almost 1940. Um, the big war over Yugoslavia still raging on furiously. Low British Raj. Defensive war. Italian War in the UK. 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 Hmm. Those four countries are... Alright, so that's that's that nation. You're the common turn, right? Justifying war against Finland. Yeah, Tanituva, Mongolia, and Sien King. And I think they just finished justifying against... No? Transformation of nature. All right. Mm. It's hard to say. Ah, they got the military training act, so they, they've got access to their full numbers now. Okay. So they've, uh, oh. They upgraded Burma. For some reason. Not a good idea fortifying East Asia. It's not doing well for you, buddy. Jet aircraft, fighter command, weapons. Okay. Just taking a look at what they're up to, what they can do. So yeah, first things first, I'm going to eat Tibet, because it gives me, it definitely changes, gives me a new direction I can move with. So the Soviets at war with Finland. Finland, of course, being part of no one. Transformation of nature. Claims on Poland. Oh, they, they chased all the way down that. There we are, reinforcing the Soviet border. So, ooh, the fall of Cairo. No, oh, hold on a minute. I gotta pause it while I read these, because one of them is important and one of them is not. So, a jubilant Italian soldiers entered Cairo today. 
moments after the last of British units retreat from the city. So, I mean, organized Italian soldiers flock to the Great Pyramids of Giza, their picture taken in front of the famous landmarks. One step closer towards linking Italian East Africa with Italian Libya and forming a continuous colony in Africa. Okay? I don't think Italian... Uh, yeah, East Africa doesn't exist as an Italian thing. So let's see. To protect our troop buildup, the Soviets wisely chose to withdraw their forces from the immediately adjacent to the Manchurian border. They occupied several of their abandoned border outposts. All right. If we went to the Ludersk border claims, the Russians and their Mongolian allies have been putting forward. More base national unity. Nice. So, they're doing cl they've got claims on Bessarabia. The next one... Hmm. Gives them a war goal on rush on. Ooh. Hmm. This could be where it happens. Let's see. Requires. Requires. Capitalist diplomacy. Just seeing if there's one that says, like, requires a, a couple different things. We're going to take. Well, I guess you should take ours. I'm going to take, uh. Oh, another expansion. Gain a conquer focus against them. Or we get a non aggression pact with the Soviets for a time. Mm, it's an interesting prospect. Rocketing around to pure glory. No help, nothing to help me get the nuke. Mm. I'll take that. Mm. So I'm very curious. Soviet withdrawal. After a buildup of Japanese military, the Soviet Union withdrew units. All right. So, how does how does that play out? Curious to know. Do they just pull back or what? We got concentrated industry though, which is nice for more production. It's November. I'm gonna upgrade my mountaineers. A white peace with Finland? Treaty of Mo That's a strange thing to happen. Makes very little sense to me what just played out. Truce with other nations. But they did. Okay. Alright, let's see. Oh, there we are. We can go to war with Tibet. Hmm. I'm going to go with that, that guy. Got more civilian factories now, which is nice. Hmm. Oh, that reminds me. Uh, production. Nope. Trade, trade, trade. Cancel that, because I've got a surplus. I have all the goods I could possibly want. Go. Well, let's build more military factories, shall we? Let's build some military factories there. Let's build some military factories in America. Right in their heartland, where it's hard to get at there. Sweet, sweet resources. Mm -hmm. And I'm also going to build some naval dockyards. Oh, 
like so. And let's see, how many naval dockyards am I building? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 naval dockyards. Hmm. I want to build one more, I think. One more naval dockyard, I think. Uh, construction. There we go. So, Wargle. Take Tibet from Tibet. Hello, Tibet. Declaring war to conquer you. Now, uh, there's a button. Shift click. There we are. So we're going to use that plan and only that plan to attack with. Um, thank you everyone for watching. We will come back soon and we will continue uh, to expand gloriously next time. See you all then.